creating a program called Gratitude Gardens. The Gratitude Gardens is a game that engages people into discovering their heritage, which is a chance for you to actually take part in one of the most important efforts in history. Hi, my name is Nick Hyming, the chairman of Growcology and one of the co-founders of the Gratitude Gardens. The Gratitude Gardens is a joint project between Growcology and our partners. There's been a tremendous loss of biodiversity at all levels of the plant and animal kingdom. And so it's, it's absolutely essential that people start rediscovering their heritage and saving these stable strains of seed so that future generations will be able to access both their nutrition and their valuable traits. It's absolutely essential that people start cultivating and saving these strains and really adapting them to their local environments. My name is Laureen Sisquak. I am a member of the Fort Sill Apache tribe of Oklahoma and a descendant of the Mountain Kauia who are the indigenous people from Riverside. Native traditions in our community are very important. They tie into everything. They kind of guide us how we should be living here on the earth. As Indian people um, native to Southern California, we've been told by our elders that um, we were put here to take care of this earth, to take care of the plants and everything that was put here for us to use and to learn about it, use it and pass it on. Gratitude Gardens is going to be creating a library of plant information worldwide. And not just information about the seeds themselves, but also about the organizations and the practices that will help people grow those seeds as best as possible. So what we try to do is um, revive, you know, wake up um, some of the things that were dormant, uh, bring back maybe some of the things that were lost because they kind of guide us how we should be living here on the earth. Important for them to learn learn about the native ways because that's the most logical for that area. All of our plants are so um, um, useful that they ha and have so many uses and, and they don't impact the environment we, when we're using them. My name is Bianca Chavez and I am the president of a sustainable education center in Riverside, California called Growcology. The Gratitude Gardens provides a platform, a platform that brings together people from all over the world. It's an opportunity for us to explore our global heritage, and it uses gardens to unite all people. Anybody can start a Gratitude Garden. The first thing they have to do is just find something that interests them about gardening, something that might be tasty, something that might be useful, something that might be medicinal, and then start growing it. The Gratitude Gardens is a online and in the ground project. It's a virtual resource, and you end up with a very useful database that's gonna help people with local practices worldwide. The Gratitude Gardens are a collaborative global project that allows people to plant seeds and collect information so that future generations will have access to all the delicious and useful plants that are our common heritage. It allows us to explore not just our heritage, but our global heritage. It unites people under the common thread, and that's food. The Gratitude Gardens is an opportunity for people to plant a seed of hope for the future.